Tonight, the town is looking to add 1,400 acres to its municipality, and that includes unincorporated, unincorporated areas that currently fall under St. Louis County, like the Barrett Station, Manchester Road, and Carmen Road region. Five on your side's Travis Cummings joins us live from the Manchester St. Louis County line to explain what this annex could mean for residents. Travis. Yeah, and we're on Carmen Road right now, and I want to put this into perspective for you. To my left here is Manchester. Now, if you swing right over here to my right, you see all that greenery over there? That's unincorporated land, and if this proposal goes through, that too will become a part of the city of Manchester. It was, it's about two feet longer than my old flag, so it kind of... He's no stranger to moving municipalities. Back in 1999, when we lived just a mile away from here, our area was annexed. And my wife and I thought along and hard about it. You know, we weren't quite sure what we were going to do. But I'm so glad we did. John Kessner lives in the Dietrich Chase subdivision, one of the neighborhoods that fall under unincorporated St. Louis County. Part of the just over 1,400 acres the city of Manchester is looking to annex. Kessner recalls how easy it was to reach local government before he moved from Manchester two years ago. Not only were the leaders in our government our neighbors, they were accessible, they were responsive to us. And the services they provide. A prime example, ongoing street improvement. And we were so glad to have that done in our neighborhood when we left. Unfortunately, the people on the north side of Carmen Road didn't have that because they were still in St. Louis County. Manchester Mayor Mike Clement echoes those benefits that would impact just over 6,500 residents and close to 3,000 homes they live in. There will be cost saving for those residents that, that live in the unincorporated area. They're going to pay a, a bit more in personal and real property taxes, but the big savings are in trash. St. Louis County Executive Sam Page worried about the lack of policing. I understand why uh, Manchester would be interested in this area but I don't think it's uh, a good deal for the residents, and that's why I'm speaking up. Residents like Kessner looking to cast his vote. I hope that people will have the opportunity to cast their vote, pro or con, because it is a decision that should be left up to the voters. There is still a long road ahead for this project. Residents will and the public will have the opportunity to weigh in until next week. That's July 19th. And then the Boundary Commission will have up to nine months to decide whether they want residents to even have a voice in this or they could have the power to scrap it if they choose. Now, the city is hoping that this question will appear on the ballot next year, the 2023 municipal election. Travis Cummings, five on your side. Hard to believe.